Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video in this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. Actually, it's night over here right now, but I just had this idea and I don't want to forget this idea before I go to sleep. So I'm just going to uh, put it out there. So what we're just going to go through real quick is that last example I went through in detail how to create a dynamic array, which you can allocate memory to and make it bigger and just keep going, keep going, right? And if you follow that, you'll be pretty in tune with what's going on, with why a dynamic array is the way it is, okay? In the memory. I even drew a little thingy in the end just to show you guys uh, how that works. But the thing is, we mostly sometimes want to work with these things in classes, right? We'll have a class called dynamic array, and in it will be different types of variables and functions that we can use. But we're, we haven't gotten to classes yet, so I'm just thinking that uh, maybe I can show you in, in normal type of uh, like a, f a function, how you pass in an array like this, so you can manipulate it. That's that's the thing. If you pass it in a certain way, you'll be able to actually delete and make new in that array, uh, but uh, in that function. But uh, it's it's kind of different. So let's just say void. Uh, let's just call it func. This is just going to be a really simple. So what you think you want to do if you had an array, int int r pointer of course sorry equals we'll just this really simple example so we'll just we'll just say new int and of course we will make sure we uh, delete um, int r back here as well just so we don't get any memory leaks okay but the thing is that we're going to be doing some stuff all right we're going to be doing some stuff and this stuff in question is going to be passing in this int whoops int int array into the function so you think this is how you do it okay you pass this pointer in here then you have full access to everything you can delete this you can create new and stuff like that and everything's going to be fine right but remember remember when you do this you're passing in the pointer as a value here not as a reference you're passing in a pointer in here and it's going to copy and stuff is going to start pointing. What you want to do, you want to have this pointer sent in as a reference. So this is called a pointer reference into the function. So you can actually say delete int r and it will actually delete this, whatever this is pointing to. Okay. Do you follow? So you need a pointer reference in order to change things with this actual dynamic array in functions if you're going to pass them in. Okay? So we could delete this and we could say uh, int r equal new int 20. Okay? And then we can fill it. Now we know it's 20. This isn't a good practice doing these literals. Never do this. Never, 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 never do this. But just in case, just for this case because it's a quick example and I want to show you how you can do this. Let's just initialize everything to 10. And then out here, we'll call func. We'll call func and we'll pass an int array. Okay. Just like that. Point of reference is going to be passed in. And then what we're going to do is what we're going to make a for loop. And we're going to say it should be 20 now. If this doesn't work, then it's broken. Okay, but it should work. <clears throat> okay, so we'll do this. Like this. And let's just hope for the best. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh, it worked. Oh, it worked. Oh, my God, it worked. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. -y. So you pass it in as a point. I don't know what's going to happen now. I don't remember, actually. I think everything is just going to break. Yeah, we got a bunch of weird values here. Because we're accessing things that aren't actually there. Okay? So don't do that. Whoops, everything just broke. Okay, everything just broke. That's great. Don't do that. <laughs> pass it in as a point of reference if you actually want to change something out here. In there. Okay, otherwise you're just passing in the pointer is as a value. You want to pass it in as a reference. So you actually get access to the pointer and what it is actually pointing to here. All right. Especially with new and stuff. You could access everything. You can change things to it. 
in here, uh, but you can't delete and make new unless it's a pointer reference. You can access everything as if it were a normal array, but you're not in the pointer itself unless you do a pointer reference. So there you go. I hope this explains something. Play around with this. See if you can understand it. And just uh, we'll be keeping. We will keep coming back to this point on and on and on. So uh, you better be ready for that and ready to learn some more pointer stuff. So uh, yeah, but thanks for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope you learned something, all right? So uh, take care, and let me see if this ends here. I think it's gonna end. Anywho, I'll take care of that. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Uh,